In this video, we're going to be looking at the cannot modify header information error that you may uh, re be returned with if you're using header uh, redirects. Now, let's take a look at this blank page uh, at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just literally start some PHP tags and go ahead and use header um, and redirect to another page. So I'm going to say header and then I'm going to say location. Uh, let's just say google.co.uk. Okay, so what's going to happen here is this header um, function is going to redirect us to the web page google.co.uk. Let's go ahead and refresh the page in our browser, and you can see that we're redirected instantly to google.co.uk. Now, you may not be using um, header to redirect to uh, a web page as such, you may be using it to redirect in some kind of way uh, in your code. Uh, to another page on your web server. So for example when the user registers you might want to locate them to another page. Now in this case if we had any kind of um, output, uh, HTML output before our uh, header will return this uh, cannot modify header information error. So for example if I created uh, some h1 tags, so a header tag and then just typed in redirection um, if I use this header here, we're not actually going to ret ret retrieve the same or, or receive the same result. So let's go ahead and click back in our browser and uh, press enter and refresh. You can see that we've got the header that we specified just a moment ago, but we actually have this error warning, cannot modify header information, headers already sent by blah 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 and where the output actually started and that's index.php and uh, line 3. Uh, sorry, uh, in, on line four. So essentially what we have here is something that's not working because we have HTML output or any output before this header command. Now there's a simple way to fix this and this is to use output buffering. So before any HTML output on your page, you may have a full HTML template and you will have like um, um, obviously the uh, HTML tag, the body tag, titles, meta information, you know, just things like that, and the doc type, etc. So, before any uh, HTML output on your page, uh, you can either go ahead and include a overall initial initialization file. So, for example, include init.php, and init.php might just contain your database connections, things like that. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a single page, so I'm just going to create some PHP tags up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ob start function, which is going to turn output buffering on. And what this roughly does, I'm just going to roughly explain what it does, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but any output on the page, it will store it in a buffer as opposed to rendering it um, immediately. And this means that we can then go ahead and modify the header information with this header function, which will obviously just redirect us. There's a variety of other things you can do with the header function. Uh, it's not just made uh, to redirect. So we've turned on output buffering up here. Uh, we can then go ahead and underneath turn output buffering on. So ob end underscore flush and that will just turn output buffering off at the end of your script. Uh, it's not required but it's probably good practice to do so. So now that we've done this, we have our HTML output, but what's going to happen is the data is going to be stored inside of a buffer and it's going to let us use this header um, function here. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and see the result that we get. So when I refresh now, you can see that we've been redirected to google.co.uk with no problem whatsoever, just by using this ob start here. Now, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you don't have to use ob end flush, it won't make a difference. Uh, if we were to go back and refresh, uh, you can see that it still works, so that's not a problem. But we've simply solved this really, really common error just by using the ob start function.